how will the 49ers replace Jason Verrett if he leaves in free agency? Which could also happen as well. Again, if these guys hit the market, they're probably gone. The Niners like to extend before before the players get out there. Well, I don't think that Kyle would let him. I don't think so. Jason Brett right now is a cornerstone for this 49ers defense. Richard Sherman will leave the team. Uh, Verrett is the, the most experienced cornerback uh, in our team. Um, I just can't see it happen that, that they will let him go. I could see it happening because I think as long as Jimmy Garoppolo is on the roster and they can't rework his deal, like there's no guarantee that they're going to have Trent Williams or Jason Verrett. Really? I mean, because it's not just that they – they also have to keep Jimmy Garoppolo and they have to give Fred Warner an extension, a big one. I, I don't know that Jason Verrett is necessarily going to come back. And I keep going back to last year. After they did the draft, they took zero corners. And someone asked John Lynch, like, what's the plan there? All your guys are free agents next year. He's like, don't worry, we have a plan. He said that. Like, don't worry, we we know. So to me, I think the plan all along has been to use their, you know, a, a, a first or second, maybe the second round pick on a corner. I well, think that's what's going to happen. Well, there's a lot of talent in this draft in cornerback positions. There are a lot of, uh, of prototype cornerbacks who are not just fast and uh, great at, at reading the field, but they are as, as well quiet, great for their size as quarterbacks. And I do think that's the most important thing right now in the NFL. Uh, it, it became a trend with the Seattle Seahawks with the region of boom and right mm -hmm. now, uh, that every team wants uh, quarterback with a, a cornerback with a great size who can cover all type of wide receivers. And because of that, most of the universities are uh, staying with uh, trying to stuck with this trend and uh, just train these type of players. Mm -hmm. so now, there's a lot of talent. In this NFL draft, there are a lot of talent in later rounds. Um, let's see what is going to happen, but I do don't think that we will draft a cornerback in the first or in the second round. You don't think so? No, I, I think don't. they will. I think they will. We'll see. But I, I think the plan has been to spend a high draft pick on a corner uh, this year. That's why I think they didn't draft one last year because instead of I think they were thinking instead of spending a fifth or a sixth round pick on a corner this year, we're going to spend a first or a second next year. Like the way they traded up for Brandon Ayuk last year, they could trade up into like a pick 27 to get JC Horn or something like that. That's my bold prediction. I think that's their, their ace up their sleeve is, man, we always wanted to draft a corner. So if we let Jason go, okay, well, we'll start rookie and Emmanuel Mosley or something. And a vet. It's, it's like a two X ward. You can easily cut yourself with a pick like that. Yes. Because those cornerbacks right now in the NFL draft has a huge upside, but they do have some huge mistakes as well. And yeah. uh, that's something that you should consider right now if uh, yeah. in, in your position, in the position of Kai Shannon and John Lynch. Um, are you in a stable position enough to, to, to try these things which could easily hurt yourself as well? Because I don't think so that they are as stable right now. I, I, I just I'm not sure that it's certain that they're gonna be able to afford Jason Verrett. I mean, they don't have a lot of cap space to get to to sign him or Trent Williams. I think they need to would have to like structure a backloaded deal where they get most of their money down the line. Is Jason Verrett gonna agree to that? I don't think so. I mean, he missed five years. I think he's gonna want money up front. I don't know, man. I think they they there there's gotta be a serious backup plan in place because. If he hasn't signed by now, I'm sure they've already made him an offer. And I'm sure he already said, nah, that's not going to cut it. And they're like, well, we'll see what you get. We that's my little face. Happen. I'm really interested.